Give me you. I hope it's not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. It's me, oh Lord. I'm on my knees, crying out to you. Hallelujah. It's me, oh Lord. I'm on my knees. So give me you. Give me you. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. I hope it's not too late. Lord, give me you. 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 It's me, oh Lord. I'm on my knees, crying out to belong to you. you. So right now in the name of Jesus Amen. release the warriors from heaven Amen. to defeat Amen. whatever is not of you in each and every one of us this day. Amen. This is our prayer Lord. Yeah. This is our prayer. Amen. And the only reason we know we to pray is because you, we know that you will do it for us. Amen. We thank Amen. you Lord for cleansing our brothers. Yes. Cleansing our sisters. Yes. Lord if I got to be clean last Is 
And he said, what shall this man do? Let's go to King James. Because that made a lot of sense in the King James. Watch what he says in the King James. Let me go there real quick. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. 21, 21, 21. King James, he says, Peter seeing. Somebody got a King James? Yes. Read it. Read King James for me. Uh, Peter said him, saying unto Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? Jesus said unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is it that to thee? Yeah. Follow thou me. Follow thou me. We don't understand what's going on. We live in a world full of hate. And, and it was so I, I, apropos that it came out the way it came out in the lessons of the heart because he said, what is that? That ain't the King James. I need, I'm going to turn this off. I need, that, you read me New Living. I, I, need, I, I need the unadulterated King James. I got it. That's it. Oh, you sure? Yeah. You be sure? No, I'll be sure. You be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all young folk don't know nothing about that Abbey shit thing. Yeah, Abbey, oh, Abbey shit. King James. Yeah, that's what it says. It says, Peter saying to him, said to Jesus, Lord, what shall this man do? Lord, what shall that woman do? Lord, what shall Richard do? Lord, what shall Ralph do? Lord, what shall Natasha do? Jesus said unto him, if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow, follow thou me. No matter what goes on in your life. Amen. God, this is so good. You can't do nothing about what's going on in somebody else's life. Okay. And that is our issue. Yes. The issue is not life. The issue is do I know where I am in this life. And we get so caught up in churchy stuff. Amen. I said it, churchy stuff. To we don't, we don't even see where we are or know where we are in life. Amen. Life has a comma and it has a period. Yes. The comma comes from God. Yes. The period comes from Jesus. Um, the period comes from Satan. The comma said, even though there might be a pause in your story, your story shall continue. Amen. But the devil tried to tell me that this period is the end of your story. Amen. But I come to tell you, God said, what is it if I want you to stay in church, mm -hmm. now watch this, I'm not be in church Amen. till I come what is it what I want to do with her? Your business. Is that any business of yours? All I know is I, I, I don't even know why, why I have to go to church other than the fact Big Mama told me when I was a little boy that I had to go to church. But one day, somebody say one day. One day. I must find and find a reason to go to church. Amen. And I didn't go to church because I wanted a blessing. I went to church for blessings when I was a little boy. They said when I was a child, I, I thought I was a child. But when I became a grown man, I went to church looking for the anointing of God. Amen. Uh, anybody in here to tell about the anointing of the Lord. Amen. And I know that God shares his anointing because he, he said, as, uh, as I am with Jesus, I shall also be with you. And if anybody know anything about Jesus, we know that he was anointed. So I said, was he anointed, Bishop? Amen. I thought he is. No, no, he, he, he's in the anointed place now. But when you are in this human body, in order to be what God wants you to be, you got to accept the anointed place while you're right here with the choice of being in hell or heaven. heaven. See, most of y'all, y'all y'all sit here and say, well, well, you're going to hell. Oh, you're going to heaven. I want to tell you the truth. Some of y'all already in hell. Some of y'all already in heaven. And you are where you think you are. That's why the devil likes messing with your mind. That's why he likes you to overthink. Because he knows you cannot think beyond your knowledge. 
And as long as I think within the capabilities of my knowledge, I cannot exceed hell. Ooh, Lord. Ain't no coming out of hell leaning on my own. Come on, somebody. That's why I cannot get over what I need to get over because all I know is what I know. And then what, what, what makes you so good, Missionary Irma, is now I want to show you that I know more than you. And none of y'all don't know. I almost said a damn thing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Please, my fish. Don't know nothing. <laughs> don't know nothing. Amen. What you need to know is, do I love God? Amen. And Peter had gotten, God had told, Jesus had told Peter, what he need to do, and Peter said, well, what do you want hell to do? And he said, what is it if I want her to tear it till I come? In other words, if I want her to call on Jesus till I come. Amen. Now, we can understand that, but what is it if I want him to call, her to call on the devil till I What is it? Whatever she's doing, God is orchestrating That's why we miss life. Go to work. And I told him this morning. I, I, I went to work on, 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 on May the 22nd. Thank you. I'm going to be back at work the next day. You know, I had a little bug. Didn't go back to work to June the 22nd. Uh, go to the hospital because I, I, I called the paramedics for the first time in my life. Amen. I rode in the ambulance. <laughs> Take me to the hospital. I felt like I wasn't getting no better because my doctor had sent me some medication and, 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 and on that, after that third day that medication wasn't doing what it was supposed to do because I done took it for years and, and God said, not this time. Medicine ain't going to work. Because I got somebody for you to meet. And, and the only way that you know that you are now in the place where I put you to be, Bishop, you got to meet him. And now I've had help for you all the other times. I've had Lady Moore, she's been up there interceding for you. I had uh, Missionary Michelle interceding. She said, but this time, Lord, told me, this time. So I said, this time. This time. Your help is either what you know or even who you know or either what you don't know. Amen. Your help is either what you know or either in who you know Amen. or what you don't know. Amen. So when I went there, I said, I know God. Amen. So I'm going to get well because I know God. But what do you do when God say, even knowing me ain't going to do you no good in this situation? Uh, what about him? What about him? I go to the hospital. Corona, Corona just started. Amen. It's May the 22nd. About, 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 about two weeks I've been home, sick. Amen. Called my, told my wife, I said, baby, this thing is getting me. I, 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 see how I don't let that Corona get in my mind. Amen. You let Corona, they, 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 that's what I'm trying to tell you. They talk Corona around you enough, you, you, the first look, act <laughs> two, I got Corona. Amen. Amen. You hit Corona so much, act two, I got Corona. Some of y'all, some of y'all got, got tested more than NBA basketball players. They got tested every day. But I couldn't tell you. I just knew I had corona. I go to the hospital, and, and, and but, but the amazing thing was when I came, when the, when the paramedics came to the house, first lady was sitting there, and the, and the, and the paramedics say, "How old are you?" I say, "63." Say, "What kind of medication are you on?" I said, I don't take no medication. He said, man, your blood pressure is better than mine. It's perfect. Oh. Your sugar level is perfect. What's that other thing? Blood pressure, sugar level? No, no, I, 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 I we didn't go that deep. But anyway, them two were perfect. So, so I said, man, I don't feel perfect. Take me to the hospital. Y'all know I don't go to the hospital. Ain't never been in Wayne, spent the night of one in my life. So, Mr. Earl, you ain't been sick enough. <laughs> Up the middle of night, right there. I couldn't take no more. So I go to the hospital, and they put me in this room, and, and they, they got all these, uh, everything locked up, and nobody got the screen pulled. Can't nobody come in. And then the lady came, come in there with it. She came in there with these two, 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 
heard about it. She was one. She stuck this thing on my nose about that long right there. And I heard about the corona test, right? right. So she stuck that thing on my nose. And I said, everybody complaining about that corona test. It, it, this ain't that bad. So said, oh, no, that was the test for the flu. This came out one like that. I said, oh, my God. <laughs>
Let him tarry. Amen. Whatever God has for you to do, he wants you to learn how not to hate. That's, whole, yeah, that's why I was so apropos this morning with, with what went on in the of the heart because the bottom line is our biggest issue in life and the evidence that we don't, we don't, we don't care to know God. Amen. If I want to hate, know what we say? If I'm mad enough at you, you know what I say? Whatever. Whatever. Do you know who you saying whatever to? You ain't telling me, you ain't telling Bishop to talk to the hand. You're talking to God. Amen. I got a chance. I woke up today. Because God said, what if I want Bishop Maurice Robinson to wake up today? What's that to you? What you need to do, be doing is learning your lesson of how to get to me, and you can't get to me with any hate in your That's why I couldn't believe God allowed less than a heart to play out like it did this morning. Because at, at this point, do I really love God? You know, and then like I say, come in, come in us. See, y'all find, y'all, 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 y'all don't even know what to look for. Amen. See, everybody would, you know, they, they, you know, I had some people call me and say, she did a great job. And someone said, but well, she did a lesson of the heart. I said, y'all don't hurt me think that. <laughs> Listen to me. But I wasn't looking for her to do a great job. Amen. I wouldn't care if she did a lesson of the heart. I didn't care if she would have preached and not let y'all say that. I wouldn't care. Amen. You found what you're looking for. I needed her to be comfortable in front of y'all. Amen. You understand know what I'm saying? I know she got it in her. How I know she got it in her? Because God made her a Oh, see? Y'all sit around here critiquing what God already said is. Amen. Come on. My only thing is, Terry can't be talking when I'm talking about you because he think he, you belong to him. So, so my only thing. Oh, Jesus. You know, I got one. <laughs> believe me, believe me, believe me. I got, I got one and they all come with a fee. I can't afford but one fee at a time. Amen. I promise you. But anyway, listen. So I needed to know, Lord, do I have to work on her being comfortable? She was very comfortable. Amen. Yeah. Very comfortable. Yeah. And see, when you're comfortable, guess what? You're believable. Yeah. When you're nervous, now nah, they 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 nervous about what you say. <laughs> so you you well, the excellency in what she did was whether she knew what she was talking about. Or not, she looked like it. Amen. See, because it's not about whether I think she know what she's talking about. She was appointed by who? God. So if I know God, God ain't going to appoint nobody that he is not yet prepared. You better hear the word of God. So I'm not worried about whether she's going to be a great teacher. I just need, need to know that she wasn't going to let her flesh keep her from teaching. Thank you. So however God does it, Whatever you're looking for, that's what you're going to find. Amen. Some people just can't live in a place without worrying about what somebody else is doing. Amen. You, you know, you, you ever catch yourself be honest? Every time something happened, that hap you know that happened to her because <laughs> if he had to do this, that wouldn't happen. Hell. Amen. Tell me your because. Yeah. Tell me your why. Because as long as you worry about somebody else's why, you ain't learning what you need to learn in. You've been taught how to hate. And as long as you worry about me, you ain't learning how to come in the place where God is. Amen. But you can't hate. Amen. What about him? What about her? He just told Peter, Peter, feed my sheep. Peter, feed my lamb. Peter, feed my sheep. 
mercy. Then Peter just come back and said, uh, what are you talking about? I know that you are. He says, Father, you know all things. Now he would have said all this. Because he worried about he going to have to do too much. Well, what he going to do? And what y'all worried about? Y'all can't get nothing done in the church because you worried about you doing more than somebody else. serve in the church because you worry about who ain't serving. You can't, you ain't gonna help but be serving because all you want to do is receive and not give. Amen. Amen. So you got to you got to know that all of us are part of the body. Isn't that what the word is saying? And, and, I, and I know you know how to take care of your body. I know how you know how not to cut your body off. Come on now. How many people ever had a hand, uh, they, they shoulder hurt? How many people ever had a pain in their arm. How many people ever had a pain in their leg? How many people ever had a pain in their head? Amen. I don't see none of y'all shoulders, none of y'all headless, none of y'all legless. I don't see none of y'all cut them off. Amen. So why you want to cut off the body of Christ when it brings pain to you? That's the body of Christ. She's the body of Christ. I'm the body of Christ. When I bring you pain, why you want to cut me off? I know you know how to live with it. Amen. You. you had a headache the other day. I don't see you cut your head off. So when, 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 when I bring you pain, be the body part of the body of Christ, why you want to cut me off? Come on, come on. Why you want to murder me? And when we are not loving like God, you know what? Guess what? I got a thing in my office to say, you are the bishop and overseer of this church. When you ain't loving like God, you're murdering. You ever got mad at somebody? Me? You ever got mad at somebody? I mean, real man. You ever got mad at somebody? You ever done you with a shower? Huh? What's his name? What's his name? Tell me. No, no, no. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Watch 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 it. I mean, I'm going to see if she's going to be honest with me. I'm going to see if she's going to be honest with me. Did you not shoot him because you love God? Tell the truth. Yeah. No, you didn't. I was going to go down you, you didn't know. You know why? You didn't shoot him because you love God. No, ain't why you didn't shoot him. You didn't want to get that lecture chair. <laughs> you didn't. It, it, that one, ain't that right? That why she didn't shoot him. I know. This must be recent if you say you love God. But I know there was a time. But you understand what I'm saying? A lot of us say we're doing things in the name of God. But we're looking at the consequences of the world. Amen. And God put the things in the, the, put those things in our place because he knew one day we were going to be with him and if we had killed somebody for real, for real, in, the, in our understanding, we would never get to him because our gift wouldn't let us get to him. But we murder people in the spirit every day. And the thing about it is, I know this ain't easy for y'all to hear. What I'm murdering is what God has accepted. You open that for me, please. What I'm murdering is what God has accepted. Mr. Herman, don't you realize it? As bad as Richard get on her nerves, Amen. tell y'all something. She know one thing with all her heart. She can tell you, uh, 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 she, if she tell you the truth, she know one thing and she don't know nothing else. That man back there love that woman. Amen. I don't care what he is to her or whatever. He love that woman. Amen. And there's nothing that you won't put up with when you know there's love and you ain't got to worry about the love being for real. Y'all understand what I'm saying? How do I know he loves her? Because he answered her two times. <laughs> At the end of the day, he loves her. And this is what I keep trying to tell y'all. Y'all are dealing with human beings. Amen. However God allows them to be in your life, accept them. Guess why? Because God said, this is what you need. I need his help. Chapter wrong with me with a call one time. 
then pay, then told a little, then told about, then told about five little boys. So whatever one of y'all catch, I'm gonna give you twenty five dollars. They were them tips was at me, man. Amen. <laughs> but y'all gotta understand something. Why would I stay with a woman that was mad enough to run over me and then then send some jitterbugs at me? Why would I? Because I know she loved me. See, she was angry. Watch this. But I provoked her. Watch this. Watch this. You know how I know she loved me? Even when she's angry, I'm not scared to eat her cooking. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Y'all got to understand something. Everything, you smile about the heart. Y'all ain't saying I ain't have no good to You smiling? You laughing about the heart, sister? Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but what I'm saying is when you are comfortable, watch this, when you are too comfortable in life, you're not growing. Amen. What is it to you, watch this, how I prepare you for what I created you for? Everything in your life is for your good because if you were not the purpose, you would not be here. Amen. If you were not the purpose, you would not be here. I need you to hear this. I'm so busy worried about what's wrong with you, I can't see what I need to see to make myself right for God through you. Everybody in our lives are nothing but opportunities to say where we live. Amen. Some of y'all are still thinking religiously and think you got time to get it right. Amen. Well, I'll get it right tomorrow. <laughs> but tomorrow ain't promised to you. Amen. But I tell you one thing. What I do know is, uh, is God is. Amen. Because he made promises to me that man can't make to me. Because he didn't give man can't give me eternal life. Man can't give me my real. Is my real perfect? Anything but. Am I perfect? In our marriage? Anything but. But guess what? We perfect for each other. Because what? God knows. Y'all better hear me. What's best for you even when you don't? Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing, I'm going to tell y'all something, and I want y'all to hear this. Ain't nothing like having a person that loves you. Amen. I got a son, I don't want to tell you his name. And I told him something. Amen. I said, you know what I mean? He said, he said, women just crazy. I said, yeah, they all crazy, so you might as well get one that loves you. That's what I told him. That's right. I'm just saying. And guess what? Men are crazy too. So you might as well get one that loves you. In a story. You looking for a man to love you and not be crazy. You crazy for thinking like that. Yeah. They all ain't no. See, you don't want nobody just like you, even though you think you do. Amen. Uh-huh. Yeah. You think you do. Come on now. You know you something else. I need God to give me what's best for me. Amen. As for him. He said, what is that to you? You got to let God bring you out of hating people. Yes. I still need work. Amen. All of us need work. Yes. There's some people that say they don't hate, but they still yell at people. Come on, any y'all still in the house? Help me out. Anybody here still yell? Come on, come on, come on. You need help. Yes, sir. I can see. 
I just think God looked at Mother Mary and he said, Mother Mary, on, 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 on um, November 15th, at 1701, Norway, 8th place, about, left, about, 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 about 1048, why was you yelling at me in church? <laughs> tells you to do something. And you don't do it. Because God said you were once my enemy. And he allows you to see whether or not you are still his enemy when you choose you over him. I just love sermons like this. And this had nothing to do with this morning. This was the top of all, already. What is that to you? The bottom line is me choosing God over him and said, when I, come here, let, come here. Yeah, you got them cute deals today. They, 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 you, can, you can stand for a while, you know. I'm not just jazzing, baby. I'm going to tell y'all, so I'm going to be honest, y'all. I'm glad I ain't married to nobody else. If she was somebody else, I'd be, I'd be in hell already. I mean, God, boy, boy, look at that. I'm oh, so bless you, man. That's all I gotta say. Amen. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? 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 Yeah, why? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I can't let her make me go to hell. Amen. You think God gonna let you in heaven yelling at him? You think God gonna let you in heaven hating him? Don't nobody, don't nobody get on your nerves like the, watch this, who you fuss at the most is who you love the most. My God. Even in the streets, even in the house, out of all your kids, think about how you and Mercedes go at it. <laughs> oh, that flips. Huh? Hey, that flips. What? It ain't Mercedes no more. Oh, you don't, you, you don't feel a little good now. It's about time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, there they, they comes a day. You got to love both of them sooner or huh? yeah. <laughs> love somebody. <laughs> but whatever you fuss at the most is the one you love the most. Amen. I used to be so mad on the basketball team. Like, the coach would always pick on me and pick on me and pick on me. He said, if you didn't have it in you, I wouldn't. And what I'm trying to tell you is, this is, y'all hear this now? Amen. That's love. That's love. Come, 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 come. Stand over. That's right, man. You get that bottle? I ain't going to hit you yet. This is love, y'all. Come, 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 and stand right there. Yeah, be careful. Put the signs up. That's love, y'all. Come on, my, my, uh, Mr. Irma. Come on, come, 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 Mr. Irma. Y'all, 
Do y'all understand what's going on here? This love, this love, this love, that's love. They're all lovable no matter what. You hear me? Amen. Why? I know God loves them because they all messed up. I know. I told y'all this morning what they really did, but anyway, they all messed up. They all messed up, Amen. and they still Amen. living because of who? God. Amen. They are lovable. Amen. And this is my my area. With her, with her right mouth and all. I love her like I love my wife. Amen. Oh, Believe me, he should have heard some of the things I said when he wasn't here. <laughs> that's why, why he's here, because nobody told him. <laughs> but I love her like I love my wife. Love. Love her like I love my wife. Love. Love him like I love my wife. Why? say I love God if I don't love what I can't say. Amen. All right, all right. In the story. If I can't, no matter what he did well, and for her, no matter what she do to me, no matter what how God allows her to work in my life or don't, I cannot not love her. Amen. We are so concerned about what somebody does to us and it gets you out of doing what you're supposed to do for God. He said to Peter, he said, Peter said, well, what about him? He said, what is that to you? You just follow me. Amen. You know what he was telling him? Mr. Irma, I wish I would have known you back in the day because I know I would have hated you. Because you were going to say some things. This you don't need to be in the street. You call yourself a preacher, you're in the streets. That one came straight out your mouth. Uh. And without God, you'd have been on my hate list. <laughs> you come over to my church and you make me call you my pastor in front of my bishop. <laughs> you come back into my life and you come back to that same old fool. Talking trash. I talk to trash. I'm taking my money. You know, right now. Talking trash. On my hate list. Get you. I get you. Bitch, I just don't want to be in that weather. Bitch, I don't, I don't want to sleep in the weather, bitch. I just don't want to be outside. Bitch, I don't want to be in that weather. I go get you a place, get you a bed, go, go, buy, your, go buy your toiletries and drawers, and you come tell me, I don't want to stay there. On my hate list. But you know what? Huh? Her mouth? Huh? It stung at times, but every time she stung me, I kissed her. Amen. Her leaving the church, it really stung me. Because I know she came over here without Terry, but she let Terry take her from him. Y'all show about it. Oh, yeah. But I, but, 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 but then what? I kissed her right on back over here. <laughs> No woman and go stay with another woman for 10 years Amen. and don't expect, and don't expect she gonna put something on you when she get back like your mama did. Amen. But I kissed her through it all. Amen. And you don't adopt the son. That his mama. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Listen, why are you so like that with Deacon Will? His mama told me he yours now. Boy, I got to deal with her. All this God put on me that I could just walk away from. Amen. Watch this now. Watch this. Bitch, you do what you do because you love it. Well, why the hell am I in your lives? Because love prays for you. Amen. Love protects you. Amen. Love keeps you when you can't keep your and this is what I'm saying. Whatever they're doing, God says, if you can prove to me that they, you love them when you don't want to, I'll make sure you're taken care of 
when you don't expect to be taken care of. If you can prove to me you love him when you don't want to, love her when you don't want to, love her when you don't want to, love her when you don't want to, you will be guaranteed to be taken care of when you don't expect to be taken care of. But if you got hate for him, are you one of them? A hateful situation is going to come your way and I'm going to have to let hate have its way. Y'all don't want to hear the truth today. Amen. Yes, Come on, change it. Change it. Whatever you pour into somebody's life, Amen. God will give you a double portion of that. Yes, he if I pour hate into your life, a double portion of hate is coming back to me. Amen. And the thing about it, what makes it double is it ain't coming from people, it's coming from God. But he said the hate of haters, which is Satan. Satan, have you considered Maurice Robinson? Because he ain't treating Helen right. Amen. After whatever God chooses to do with them in your life, you accept it and love them, knowing that God will give you a double portion of love if you accept it. Amen. Amen. Who don't need a double portion of love? I know I do. I the prayers of the righteous avail as much. Yeah, if I just be keep, see, it, 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 ain't, it ain't whether or not I do right by them, it's whether I love them through their right or wrong. Yeah, see, when I love them through their right or wrong, I'm only doing it because I know God loved me through it all. Hello, somebody. Yeah, Amen. So I need to tell you right now, whatever you do, don't worry about nobody else's business. Understand that you're in a place of hate, then you gotta you gotta learn how to love your way out of this place. Anybody got on heels that hurt? Okay. I'm hanging out with them a little bit longer. See how I love them concerned about their feet? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Their feces. <laughs> See how she just snapped at me, but I still gotta love them. She snapped, she snapped back at me because I told her that was less than a heart for her. <laughs> He said, but when you want 
Me to know you love me, meaning God. You get out of the way and love what you want to hate. And guess what? God said, that's how, that's how Job got his double. He got double before his trouble. His wife was trouble to him because she complained about what God was doing. Amen. His friends was double trouble because they complained about You just need to cut your God and die. Man, you done messed up real bad with God. I don't want to be around you because you got all kind of cusses on you. But Job loved himself for them. He loved himself for them. So guess who was blessed when Job got blessed again? The friends, the wife. Y'all see that? So watch this. God didn't bless him for him. God blessed him for them. See, y'all so busy tied up, y'all want a blessing for you. But see, when you really know God, you already, you, you got more than a blessing. You are anointed. All right, all right. All right. So those who didn't love me when they were supposed to, they need the blessing. But when I can love you for when I can love me for you, that means I have the anointing of God. I'm already living in heaven. Heaven is already upon me. I ain't worried about circumstances. Amen. Now, Sister Latasha, God gonna take care of it. Amen. He gonna, he, matter of fact, he ain't gonna take care of it. He already took care of it. You know why? Because you didn't want to be here today. But you came without the van coming to get you. Look how good God is, huh? Look how good. So God said, because you love, love them, because you love yourself for them, you got a double blessing coming your way. You, you, you see it? Amen. You should be saying, thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Get out of my business, Bishop. Thank you. I ain't in your business. I'm just I, telling you, God, I, I didn't know God told me you needed to hear that. Amen. Amen? Amen. Do y'all, anybody bless my sister? Amen. Amen. As for them, what is that to you? Amen. However I put him in your life, Amen. you concerned about what he's doing and you He's standing by my wife. He's pulled again here. <laughs> he, he, he had to sit. Soon somebody, if it was me, soon somebody else came up here, I went way down here. Because I know, I know he's standing by that one right there. He got to learn how to read the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, whatever God put her in your life to do, love her. Amen. Whatever God put her in your life to do, love her. Because it's not those that love you that show that you love God. Amen. It's the ones that you don't want to love. Because now when you don't want to love them, you're, you're pitting your will against whose will. Oh my God. After whatever I let him, whatever pain I let him cause you, eat that and love him. Whatever pain, we marry. But she caused me pain. I caused her pain. But because we love each other, we eat that. And she taught me how to love her. She taught me how to love him. She taught me how to love. And she taught me how to love people, especially who hurt me. Watch this. And they hurt me because they don't know who I am and don't understand me. Because I learned from her because there were times when she was hurt, she didn't understand me and she made me wait. Y'all see this? So she taught me how to love y'all. Man, I hope y'all don't. This might not be might not hit you like last week hit you. Yeah. But this right here should grab you. Amen. If you want to be with God, Amen. You gotta stop telling God who you want in your life. Amen. What they got to do, they gonna be in your life. Amen. I want a man. Watch this. I want a man, but he got to be making six figures. He gonna be making six figures. Gonna have six digits on your eye. <laughs> You just tell God I want a husband. Amen. Good. Amen. No, no, you say good. What if you tell your husband Huh? Gotta be what? Specific? Yeah. See, y'all gotta understand something. When you're specific with God, you get what you ask for. 
But when you tell God, I want a hug, but he'll send you what he has for you. Because he's going to always give you what you think you want. Because if you get what you what he got for you, you're going to say, well, if I, had, if I had a man like Will that could be the drum, when he beat the drum, I could get off. <laughs> right. Huh? Mr. Herbert said, who? <laughs> but y'all understand what I'm saying. But then, y'all got your drama. <laughs> hey, look, watch this. Y'all got your drama with the drama. And you asked for it. But when you just say, God, send me what you got for me. So it ain't going to come looking like you expected. Why? God going to say, are you in it for love? Are you in it for what you want out of it? Amen. I didn't come looking like a finished product. Still ain't no finished product. But she in it for love. Amen. I asked y'all about the shoes long, a long time ago. We don't pass that now. We in it. We in it to love God. My goddaughter right now, I love her because I love God. Amen. Do she get on my nerve? Yes, she do. Because I know sometimes she party too hard, she be too tired to come to church. That ain't my fault. Get you. But I still love her. Get you. Her little, her little, her little, her little co rider right now. Co yeah, the co rider will always come and defend her. Yes, yes, you always. Well, you know, Bishop, she wasn't feeling good yesterday. <laughs> but it don't matter to me, you understand? You ain't got to take up for her because no matter whether she's here or not, I'm still going to love her because I got to love her to love God. I can take over everybody, but I just I, I be trying to take over Richard, but I can't find no way to take over. <laughs> I, I, I have to take over my brother. You take over him? Yes, sir. So I'm through, y'all. But I just need everybody, whatever God put in your life, He put it there to get on your nerves. Amen. Because anybody can love what likes them. Amen. Anybody can love what's making them happy. But God say, I'm going to send somebody. Judas went to the table to eat with Jesus, and Jesus knew what he was going to do, and he said, be quick about it. Amen. He, didn't, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't struggle because he knew why God put him on this earth with the creative situation for us to be tested and proven. Amen. See, y'all want to be proven without being tested. tested. I can prove you how to love God. Well, I'm going to let Irma get on your nerve today. I really love the Lord. Well, I'm going to let Dicky get on your nerve today, Bishop. And soon as we say, ain't nothing I'll do for God. Here comes Terry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As soon as you make these proclamations, God will show you how strong you are or how weak you are. And when you think you're strong enough to do it, God said, I, I don't need you to be strong enough. I need you to be weak. Because when you're weak, you'll say, okay, it's all right, all right, all right. I'm going to give you that because one of us got to show that keep God in this for us to have a godly resolve. One of us got to let God be in this for us to have a godly resolve. I'm, 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 it, it, it's sad. God making this very hard for me to preach. Two people making it very hard for me to preach today. Oh. But it's sad. Amen. It's sad. <coughs> when two church people can't get along. Amen. Don't nothing hurt a pastor more than that. Because uh, I feel like I'm laboring in vain. But let me tell you. You ain't, I say I feel like it, but I'm not a feeling person. I'm spiritual. I know what God got me doing. Amen. You, you, can, yeah, in other words, can, can, I, can, I, can I let y'all, y'all can go. But while y'all leaving, don't leave me no mustard. Them two people tell them they need to catch up. Don't leave me no mustard. Tell them they need to what? 
ketchup. <laughs> you like that one, Miss Mary Bell? Don't leave me. You tell you get home, say, baby, don't leave me no more, so you need to catch up. <laughs> I'm going, you know, but I just needed you to hear. Stop worrying about what somebody else is doing to you. He said, ask for them. Worry about yourself learning how not to hate. Because we've been taught to hate, y'all. And the less we hate, the closer we are to God. And we ain't close to God, we're close to his adversary. Amen. And don't worry about it if you're not quite there. Amen. Just keep coming, because this is the only place you're going to learn not to hate. Amen. I don't know who made Sister Latasha mad for, but I'm glad it ain't, I'm glad it ain't on that list. But you all right with him now, right? I'm great. Okay. I'm great. Y'all right. better tell her, I, I read spirits very well, don't I? Amen. Yeah, yeah. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you that I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you that I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you that I love you. I love you, I love the Lord today, because he cared for me in such a special way. That's why I'll praise him, I lift him up, and I magnify your You're not going to lose it all. Yeah. 
God Amen. said, whatever the world took from him, Amen. just get ready for him to give it back to you, though. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You lost a friend, you're yeah. going to get two friends. Uh, you wanted one house, God's going to give you two houses. No, that ain't gonna happen. Somebody said, Can I get two husbands? No. <laughs> <laughs> Be encouraged, saints. Amen. Stop worrying about what somebody else is doing and how God is using them in your life. Amen. And just know that they're there because God says, This is what you need to be exposed to in order to make it for Him. Amen. Amen. Thank you. This is what you need in your life in order to make it for God. Amen. Can anybody see that? Amen. Amen. There was a time I said, I wish for a lady would just go back and fold out of there. Mm. Then you know what she was looking at me? She said, you came to fold out of the deal and got me. Amen. I ain't going. No way. <laughs> <laughs> you said that my heart. Ooh. <laughs> You said that about the heart, Miss. I plan on going somewhere. <laughs> you plan to say that about the heart. Listen, you just be talking. But I just want to tell you, God is good. Amen. Yes, she is. I got to love her anyway. God, God said, Do you love me? You got to love her. Yes. But be encouraged, okay? Keep our pastor in prayer. Um, keep the church in prayer. Yes, keep Sister Vanessa in prayer. Amen. Keep Mother Mary Lee in prayer. Amen. As he brings them in, in, into a relationship that they don't even can't even imagine how close they're going to come. But can't no don't nobody go in trying to fix nothing. Let God do His thing. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. That last thing, I, last time I checked, um, it wasn't your thing. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. That's God's thing. Amen. She belongs to God. She be it's his thing. Let him do what he want to do. Amen. It's a God thing. Now. Amen. Please stand on your feet and take out your time. Stand on your feet and take out your time. Stand on your feet and take out your time. Social media and Facebook, we thank God for y'all joining us today. Amen. We hope you enjoyed the sermon. I see you in the morning. I wake up with Jesus. God willing. Peace. Amen. Amen.